rock three times the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But given Eros's erratic speed and acceleration, we really don't know where it's gonna hit. Latest projection, seven to 10 billion dead. Another 10 in the aftermath of environmental disaster. We have to begin evacuation. Use every available ship and transport. We'll need a lottery system and to control public hysteria. There's only one option left, the planetary defenses. A massive missile launch at Eros. The odds are good that we destroy it, or at least turn it into a million pebbles. Whatever biotoxin is inside Eros, can it survive in a vacuum, or do we risk scattering it all over the system? Sadly, there's no time to conduct a study to satisfy your curiosity. We'll sterilize the detonation zone with a second wave of missiles. Ready the arsenal. And get the secretary aligned to the Martian prime minister. We don't want them mistaking our missiles for a first strike. Let's hope they're feeling warm and fuzzy today. In all your years, did you imagine you'd see a moment like this? Martian Prime Minister confirmed they won't consider our launch a preemptive strike. Nor did they offer assistance. Maybe they want to see how well their weapon performs. Or to watch how ours fails. Sir. Silos are open. lost their target locks. How do you lose a target the size of a goddamn moon? Eris vanished off radar. It's gone stealth. Who's going to explain that to me? Our missiles, sir. They're flying blind, which makes them essentially useless. Incoming strong message from Fred Johnson on the emergency channel. Fred Johnson? Does he have something to do with this? UN Security Council, I have been monitoring this incredible situation on Eros and believe I have a solution. The OPA has a ship in visual range of arrows that can use its laser guidance system to paint the target for your missiles. But given the signal delay to Earth, my technicians would need to steer the missiles in. I understand the gravity of the request, but need a response before the window of opportunity closes. This is exactly the kind of opportunity he's been waiting for. He can redirect our missiles at Mars. Or Earth. It's just the guidance systems. We still have our abort codes. Besides, why would he? The belt dies without Earth and Mars. Because he's got blood on his hands. He's a mad terrorist, your words. I need a moment. Can you see this OPA ship? Not in the wake of Eros. It's radar dark too. We'll have to take Fred Johnson's word for it. Or I could talk to the captain of this ship directly. Any message would have to be relayed through Tycho Station. Open a channel. Madam Abbasarala, I'm James Holden, captain of the Rastinante. I've seen firsthand the hell that's going on inside Eros, and it mustn't be allowed to reach Earth. Fred Johnson is honorable. Give him access to your missiles and my crew and I will guide them in. There's no time to bargain. We can only choose to trust each other. I pray that we will. Good thing the assassins missed. We can't trust this man. 
Sir James Holden is neck deep in everything that's happening. He's Fred Johnson's puppet. On any other day, this discussion would get us shot for treason, then thrown into a lunatic asylum. Give them the guidance control of the missiles, Mr. Secretary. I vouch for James Holden. We can trust him. What the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls the butterfly. <laughs>